<laughs> Let's talk about last week's game, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, a, a real uh, nail-biter. It was the most exciting thing. Uh, we faced Riverview Sarasota Rams in their homecoming game. How oh, was their homecoming game? It was. Jeez. Oh, man. And to say it was one of the most exciting football games we've ever played, is in, it doesn't begin to do justice. Uh, really the biggest thriller in Knights history. And to those who missed the game... What were you staring at us for? Or worse, <laughs> turned it off before the end. You're going to give us a play-by-play. -play. Oh, <laughs> we didn't turn it off. Oh, oh, we were camping it. last week. No, we, we were watching it. Remember, I had yeah, it up. We had it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, we had it up. All we right, up. good. As I said, for those who missed the this epic con uh, contest, we're going to do a recap right now. So, firstly, there was about 10 minutes left in the game. The Knights were down 19 points. That's 33 to 14. And the Knights refusing to die showed this spark of life. He's uh, passing. Brandon Coupe, touchdown Knights. All righty. So that brought the score into 33-20. Uh, That's right. Knights failed on their two-point conversion. Uh, and the defense finally began to uh, hold the Rams. Not literally hold them, but began to shut them down. And with six minutes left, the Knights knocked on the door again, and this happened. Hand off Antoine Raymond. Antoine Raymond is... A missed tackle. He's going to go score. Touchdown, Knights. I seem to be a little confused on what was happening there. I don't know what was going on. It's a disbelief in your eyes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, score was now 33-27, and uh, CAI had the chance to win. Uh, there was some more great defense. Knights got the ball back again with two and a half minutes. Plenty of time to win the game. Uh, but the offense stalled. Um, yeah, they had too much time. I don't know. They got complacent. <laughs> yeah, this was the fourth <laughs> down play. That stops the clock with a minute and 16 seconds. It is fourth down for the Knights, fourth and three. And off Antoine Raymond, and he is stopped. And this will probably be the game. So Spoiler you heard what alert. I, uh, yeah, Jeffrey what? thinks the game is over. Yep. The segment is not That's done not yet. That's not the first time I said <laughs> that. Okay. All right, it's teed so, up for them. Though they're not, I mean, they only had two timeouts. It was doubtful they'd get the ball back. If so, maybe only with a few seconds. But the very next play, this happened. Oh, this is exciting, Jeffrey. Ball, ball, ball is loose. Have no idea who, who Knights are saying it's their ball, and it is Knights ball. Will the miracles never cease? Huh. <laughs> And then, then the fun comes with. Uh, oh, these guys are great. These guys, I got to say. They're, I mean, they're, we take yeah. our job seriously, but these are the guys that you're going to be listening to yeah. watching Monday Night Football. Can we play their coverage of that same fumble play? Just to secure the win. And hands off up the middle. And did the ball come out? <laughs> <laughs> By some miracle, did it come out for the Knights? <laughs> Pandemonia! <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> they say I'm not up! Pandemonia. Oh God, Can so we steal good. that? That's I Pandemonia! Think I think he's got a trademark. <laughs> we got to ask. <laughs> These guys sound like they're 40 at least, by the way, and I found out from Marty that they're just kids. They are. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, we're going to show a little clip later. You'll see them. 
Um, so, so now there's a minute left. Knights still have their two timeouts. So we're looking good again. You know? In the driver's <laughs> seat. We're looking very good. Uh, but the offense, once again, uh, a few incomplete passes uh, and another four downs, and we failed to do much with it. And it looks like we're going to give the ball back to the Rams with 28 seconds left. The 28 over. seconds left. We give the ball back. All they needed to do was kneel on the ball and run out the clock because we only had two timeouts. So you use a timeout on first down, second down, but third down, they'll yeah, run out the clock. Over. The game is over, do. basically. You can't prevent it from running out unless there's a miracle. So In the excitement, this is what happened. Show us what happened. Kneel down. We've got to burn a and timeout. Watch be. this guy. Backflip from Jackson Wopchowski on the flag. Oh, that's a great backflip. Flag flip, comes out on the backflip. Yeah. So the flag comes out, but it's a, more importantly, it's a timeout. Yeah, the yards don't matter at that point. It's a free timeout. That's what that's what's key. That's right. And if you watch carefully, uh, I'm gonna, just going to play it again in a moment. You're going to note that the Knights' defensive coordinator, David Feldman, might be related. <laughs> he's dressed in a gray shirt. Just left of on on your screen of the uh, the official, the referee. And when the guy does the backflip. What you, you, you can't hear, obviously, is David immediately says, that's 15 yards. And one second later, the ref throws a flag. Wow. I mean, at that point in the game, they probably wouldn't have thrown the flag. Wow. You know, even though it's not legal to do during the game. So watch this video again. We're going to do it in slow motion. But watch on your far sideline just left of the ref that throws the flag. David in the shorts there. Oh, yeah. yeah black I see shorts, him. gray shirt. And now he says, that's 15 yards. Look at him. And ref reaches and throws the uh, flag. Wow. Out. So that's what did it. That's what that's gave what, us the chance. That's what gave us the chance. That along the with the only booster thing. money. Thank you very much, sponsors. <laughs> 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 and David's calling it. And it wasn't a bad throw by the ref, too, oh, on that flag. It. That oh, was a nice. pretty good shot. He's trying to earn his. <laughs> Um, this KSN ref toss of the <laughs> of the game. <laughs> That's so, incredible. Obviously, throughout a game, there's going to be situations and things that the coaches have their fingerprints, uh, but nothing more apparent than that. The yeah, it's not random. It, correct. It's, it's not they're random. They're plotting at all. always how to shift the odds in their in their team's favor. It was only the heads up of uh, David and and the rest of the coaches that there was any opportunity left to maneuver this game um yeah what did you think of it at that moment in time Jeff? i thought nothing I, I had no idea right yeah i didn't that's, i was like, like okay oh, cool. uh yeah so it's what? insignificant Correct. insignificant i wasn't counting the timeouts i i i obviously all right so <clears throat> then what happened over the next couple of downs is somehow or another the clock runs down from 28 seconds to 7.8 seconds which was wrong because they had a timeout each time. Yeah, correct. Like, obviously, plays can take, in those situations, plays can take three seconds, five seconds each. But That's they're right. not taking 12 seconds. That's right. And, you know, the clock was not managed properly. There's 7.8 seconds. Now the Rams call a timeout after our timeout mm -hmm. to discuss what they're going to do on fourth down. And here's what they uh, decided to do. So go ahead and play that. Well, the last few seconds of this game are certainly taking quite some time. But when it's all over, uh, unless there's another miracle of some sort, so it is uh, in the, in the Rams <laughs> 33, Knights 27. I'm sorry, I, I missed that one. That's just another call by me <laughs> that the game was over. <laughs> this is done. <laughs> Play the next one. Yeah, that's what I... I think Anthony Moe's yep, gonna that's exactly the ball. what they're going to do. He's got to make sure the time goes out. He's got to make sure the time goes out. Why did the clock stop? 
So yeah, so in that scenario, obviously there's only seven seconds left, uh, and that's not a mistake by them. They decided to take they, a safety on purpose to run and out hope the clock. that it takes eight seconds to slowly but run out the back But James of the end was chasing him. He couldn't just stand there. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, you're getting chased down. You can't stand there on fourth down and you know get tackled two yards short of the end zone. Caused him to sprint out of the end zone. Did not waste seven point eight seconds. That's Matter right. of fact, how much time was left at that point? 1.8 seconds. Jeez. 1.8 seconds and a free kick, which is very important. Now they have to kick off to us, and the clock on the kickoff doesn't start until the ball is touched. So what our coaches did at that point during the ensuing timeout is tell the players, get whoever down. gets the ball, you go to the ground immediately. Right away, yeah. So let's play that kickoff. Put it away. Can't do it on side kick. So they this is similar to a punch. They go down and time is still there. They have a shot. Oh my God. Wow. This is unreal. Actually incredible. So obviously. This is when you thought it couldn't get crazier. It keeps getting <laughs> I love crazier. These guys. <laughs> Actually incredible. Just when you thought it could. That was a meet Baram, uh, number 21, who fielded that ball. And he fielded, fielded it that clean ball, and he went, down. He went straight down. Wild. Um, That's a pretty plane up there, Jeff. <laughs> we're not playing the uh, stadium sound right now through the uh, – Oh, we, we're yeah, the only we're, 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 okay, we're hearing okay. it, but, yeah. Um. So now there's seven-tenths of a second. So now people who haven't seen the game are probably dying to know what happened. Let's show them. I mean, this clip made its way through social media. <laughs> One play left. Cabo Cleese, he's got to air it out. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. My it's, gosh. it's caught. No it's way. It's caught. It is caught. No way. Dallas Sims. An unbelievable oh win. Dallas Sims wants it to be kidding. Dallas Sims have the goal. You to be kidding. That's a play on, uh, what's his on name? Terrell Owens. Yeah. At the center seen. logo. From Incredible. From a 33-14. What have we just witnessed? Dallas in the Sims has done it. Unbelievable. Dallas Sims. Walks it off on a Hail Mary. Time should have ran out. It didn't. And the Clearwater International Knights take advantage. And it's a Dallas Sims winner from 34 yards out. And it's the craziest thing you'll see in your lifetime. Wow. <laughs> That's some commentating right there. We got to yeah. hire these guys, <laughs> I, these guys for I, 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 I've, very I've offered them something. <laughs> All right. Some background what was happening during those last few seconds. Head coach Jesse Chinchar was already telling the coaching staff we we're going to win the game. No joke. Okay. And he, when he huddled up the players during that final timeout, he says, okay, who's going to catch the ball? And, and guess who answers? Dallas. Dallas Simpson. I want the ball. Me. And the coach says, good, we'll, we'll, we'll throw it to you. That's you great. You know, I mean. That's very replacement-like. Um, I like that. I think there was a little angel there that just lifted the football just enough. It was unbelievable. Let's play the uh, wrap-up by these guys, uh, our, uh, our new favorite uh Actually, these guys are broadcasters. Yeah. I need to study their game film. <laughs> yeah. Listen, as I was saying, this was a, a chance to get a, a win over a really, really good football team. Because we saw here tonight, Riverview can hang with some of the best. Should have beat one of the best. And even with all that that happened, they had 0 0.7 seconds to go settle it on the football field. And Dallas Sims made a great catch. And hats off to Dallas Sims. He, he was quiet for a lot of the game, but when it mattered the most, Dallas Sims came through and made a big-time play. And... And as Man. crazy it is to sounds, Clearwater deserved this win. They did. Something has got to be said for the, the grit that Clearwater had and oh, never, wow. never not giving up. up to literally the last less than a second. 
I mean, they missed the two point conversion. They're probably thinking, oh man, like we just got we got to come up with something here, right? They might be a little deflated. No, right? That that just goes to show like you do not give up. It is all about the integrity of the game. That's what wins you the game. Your heart wins yep. you the game, not talent. And right, you, you can, can be the fastest. And you the can only imagine what that locker room over there uh, uh, on the north side of the stadium is like right now. Talking uh, about the north listen, side of the field I with don't the know locker. As yeah, these I, guys are great. I've been a diehard football fan for many. I don't know if I've ever watched a crazier ending than that. So, uh, honestly, in any level of football, I've never watched a crazier ending than that football game right there. It, it's it, it was incredible. It's all about that how you bounce back. That is going to wrap it up tonight here on the Riverview Rams Sports Network. An unbelievable finish that sees Clearwater International walk away with a walk-off Hail Mary winner. That's it's incredible. Dallas Sims, 35-33, your final score. You know what always sticks in my head as the wildest ending? Was that Bama-Auburn game at the end where they attempted the field goal and they ran it back for a touchdown? Yeah, oh, I even know about that story, and I don't want to I mean, I don't football. remember the game, but it was like – was they had a chance to hit like a 55-yarder in college to win the game, and then Auburn has a person back, fields, fields it, 130 the, the yards, it 107 crazy. yards or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, I want to give equal time to KSN. Can we show KSN's ending to that game? Knights will need to reach deep into their playbook and figure out something they could do here. Final play of the game. Barring a defensive penalty. Passing to the end zone. Uh, Knights caught it! The Knights caught it! The Knights have won this game! The Knights won the game! I have never seen a game like this in my life. The catch by Dallas Sims. Never seen a game in like this. Knights win in a shocker, 35 to 33. That's All pretty right. good. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't yeah, too that bad. Was great. <laughs> I think the shock got to you more. Jeff yeah. couldn't get words out. He's like, what is going on right now? <laughs> Incredible. Jeff, next time there's a game like that, you got to make sure that we don't have scheduling conflicts. You, know? you don't have what? Scheduling, scheduling conflicts. conflicts. Yeah, you got to let us know when it's going to be an exciting one. Uh, Tonight will be exciting. Well, now we're here. Thanks for letting us know. That's we're right. Yeah. All right. You, so you really have to be proud of all the coaches and players. They continue to believe they could win this game. There were so many that contributed. Uh, Antoine Raymond with over 200 yards. Joaquin Cavuclis with 250 yards passing, three touchdowns. Wow. Kiari James and Delano Galad combined for more than 35 tackles. And then the hero, Mr. Dallas Sims. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, in those scenarios, it's obviously you, you heard the other, uh, the other announcement team uh, mention that, that it's hard to keep your head in that game and just, to stay resilient, to have that grit when so many things don't go your way throughout the course of the game to be able to figure out a way to stay in it, keep your head, and try to fight until there's actually zero time left? Yeah, I mean, if it had been me, I'd be sitting on the bench with my head in my knees and just say, you know, yeah, it's well, over. Yeah, we'll try again next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how they did it.